Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be taking a Club Zebra article and inserting it into your publisher template. It's very easy to do and once you get the hang of it, you'll be sending all sorts of content to your clients. First, I have the Word document open of one of the latest Club Zebra Pro articles. This article is about 500 words in length, which fits perfectly into one of our publisher templates. The first thing I'm going to do is go and take a look at my publisher template. So this is all open and ready to go. And you'll notice I've got two text boxes here and these are linked because, and you can tell because they've got the little arrow right here. I've got a text box for the title and these are the elements that I'm going to be changing during this demonstration. Let me go back to my Word document. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to copy and paste the text from the middle of this into our, our template. And to do that, I'm simply going to put my cursor right in the front of the paragraph here. I'm going to click and drag all the way to the bottom of the article. And everything that's highlighted is in is been selected. Then I'm going to right click and choose copy. And then back in my publisher file, I'm going to simply put my cursor somewhere in this text. And once I'm in here, I'm going to hit select all text and text box. That's going to select everything in there that I want to copy over. And I'm going to go over here to this paste button and instead of just clicking on paste, I'm actually going to click on the down arrow and over go over to this A with the clipboard, which is going to take my formatting that I already had in the article. So that way I don't have to do much once I get here. So you'll notice that this was this text is Garamond, size 12. But in my Word document, it was Calibri size 11. So what it did was it went ahead and did, it just kept the formatting of my article, which is fantastic. Now you will note that this article is too long for this space. And you can tell that because it's got the little red dots here and this little dotted um, icon right here, which is indicating that there's more text somewhere else. So we do need to shorten up this text just a smidge. There's a couple of great ways to do that. Um, I've got a couple secrets here for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all my text again. Select all my text in the text box. And I'm going to go up here to my paragraph box right here. And this, uh, this little down arrow on the side opened up this box for me. And it's got quite a bit of space here between the lines. I actually want to take that down to 1.1 instead of 1.25. And that's, that's the amount of space between like two lines of text here. But what I also, well actually let's just do that and let me see how that looks. So you'll see that that shortened it up significantly. However, I want a little bit more space between the paragraphs. So let's go ahead and select that text again. And now I'm going to hit my paragraph. Uh, thing here to pull up the box. And then I also have these two options, line spacing before and after paragraphs. I like this quite a bit. Um, it goes in six point increments. Oh no, actually it goes in several point increments. I think three points is a good place to start. We might need to bump that up a little bit, but let's go ahead and hit three points and then click OK. And yeah, I think I want a little bit more space than that. So let's go ahead and select all text again. Go to paragraph and let's actually change this to six. Now doesn't that look better? Very nice. Okay, then going back, to, I also need to change the title. So let me go back to my Word document here. And I'm going to highlight my text. Right click and choose copy. Back in publisher, I'm going to highlight the text of this title. Go to paste and choose my icon again. Now, actually, you'll note that this is quite a bit more text than what we had originally. So this actually is missing the words take note. So let's go back here. Let's select all the text in the text box and bring that down to about size, let's try 24. And that didn't quite do it. So actually what I want to do in this case is I might want to make this a two line title. So I'm just going to expand my text box a little bit. And then I'm going to put my cursor right before the 
the second line here and I'm just going to hit enter to make a second line. Now the reason it's not showing up down here is because it's trying to wrap text around these text boxes. So what we need to do is actually take the text wrapping off of these text boxes so it'll just go ahead and um, go ahead and uh, create that second line of text. So under this wrap text icon up here just choose none. You'll see that it's right here on through. Let's choose none and you can see that that little second part of that line just showed up there. Let's do the same with this paragraph. Okay, you can see there it is there. Now let's just get this formatted. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my arrow keys to move this up a little bit. That's probably pretty good. And now what I'm going to do is highlight everything here and I'm going to adjust my space between the lines again. And let's choose 0.8 for the line spacing between these lines and let's see how that looks. Not too bad. There we go. Okay, now you might be ready to send this to print or you might want to include a, a photo, which is fine too. We'll cover that on a different tutorial. But in this case, let's go ahead and assume that we want to send this to print. So what you're going to do is go over to File and choose Save As. And you'll note that we actually have all sorts of different options in this box. So you can save it. The default is Publisher, but you can also save it as a PDF. You can save it as a JPEG or a TIFF if you need to send it as, a, as just an image. But in this case, in most cases, you can go ahead and just save it as a PDF and that'll be just fine. So let's go ahead and save it. And it is all saved. Thank you for joining me.